Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4. We left off last time uh, at war with the Allies. The Allies are doing silly things like landing entire uh, armies in places where they can't supply them and dying. Um, pretty normal AI things. Uh, and I pushed deep into, like, like former Austrian territory into Germany. Uh, actually, let's take a look at state map mode. So, uh, yeah, Austria... Uh, Bohemia, all that good stuff, and uh, lots of Poland, lots of Poland fell. Then, after lots of Poland fell, there was a large, Attention. large amount of resistance in the, the Danzig area. But I'm actually manually controlling a little bit of this to try to even out the lines, just a, a hair. The Allies declared war on Sweden for whatever reason. Maybe to, to open up a front with me? I don't know. And I have my focus is set to repair, and we're, we're doing lots of infrastructuring and repairing along the way and stuff like that. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just trying to, you know, take a quick peek at the line, make sure everything's good. The Dutch apparently just became... Uh, like, crawled into, like, the World Conqueror's, uh, 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 like, mandate and just, just going whole hog. I don't even know how they field this many divisions. It's a lot, though. It's a lot. I actually do have armies to spare, though, so if things get dicey, not a big deal. Not a big deal if things get real dicey. Here, can you guys just, uh, help out with that one division there? What, Romania is definitely... Very large. Yeah, we, def we, we definitely help that out. Oh, you know what? Like, these could really use a good redo. Like, you don't even have a attack? An attack angle. And like, Mr. Orange here. We can just redraw that. Now... Out, oh, shit. Out loud wondering. So, that's a... That's a, that's a fun workaround. Uh, you do not lose your preparation bonus, it looks like. If you attack them, if you just move the lines like that, instead of actually redrawing them, you do not lose... If you delete them and redraw them, you lose it. But if you don't, you keep it. So, um, I mean, to me that seems like, uh, uh, a, a very gamey mechanic, but whatever. Just figured it out. I'm getting those engineers, engineer companies going too. How's my production looking? Let's look, we're making way more trucks than we need. That, that's definitely a thing. Trying to crank out some bombers, but it's going to take a long time to get those numbers up. I believe that's the last light tank, and I don't plan on making any other tanks other than that one. Really running short on those artillery guns. Only a thousand left. Now, in one of the comments that in an episode that just aired, when I took over the Soviet Union and it said, and I got 25,000 artillery pieces from them, somebody said that those, I didn't see those units in my stockpile because they were distributed immediately out to the army. And at first I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But I don't think that, I don't think that commenter was right because that would have meant that I was in the hole nearly 25,000 artillery pieces, which I wasn't. There's no way I took I, I was that low on the on the chain there. I really can't see what's going on up here, can we? It's not just not gonna tell me. Just not gonna let me know. Okay, if you insist. So I'm thinking we just oh, they're launching an attack against me. Well that didn't go get him anywhere. Here, what if we do this? And just surround Danzig. There's like Norwegian troops in there or something. Ordonate. 
Let's go. Engineer company. They're, they're just not going to garrison those provinces, I guess. So we'll take them. I'll take them. That's fine by me. I'll take them. You don't want them? All me. All Magnus all the time. What did we finish? Oh, uh, it was the engineer company. Hmm. Increase the reliability of our tank divisions. No, no issue there. Like, the only thing we're actually low on is bombers, but that's just because, you know, we're... We're, we're so far behind on, on bomber attack, but it definitely seems like the Dutch, or the French, are starting to... Well, the Dutch, too. No, that's Polish. That's Dutch. Some people are starting to suffer from uh, equipment problems. Weren't we just attacking here and winning? No, apparently not. Oh, they're, they're counter-attacking now. Um... Can I get, like, a non-aggression pact with you guys, maybe? Oh, we already have one. We have non-aggression pact. Hmm. Take a look at my production. I put another artillery on there, didn't I? So here's one. Okay, the, it's, uh, it's efficiency is going back up. And then... Another artillery... Yeah, okay. So we got two full artilleries going. That's good. Two full fighters, three bombers. Really heavy right here. I, I, you know what? The fucking French. Jesus Christ. They, they must have abandoned all the other fronts or something. Thinking we could push best down here. So you're still going. That's this. Nope. That's not that one. That's this one. Oi. Moving everybody across the frontage. I hate that. That's a big that's a big problem, is that when you when you alter the front, the AI reorg it, it basically resets, and the AI AI will will redo its um how do you say it? It's it's like organization of the front. It'll reorganize its order of battle, its oob. And when you, you it really doesn't need to do it the way it does, like in in a situation like in Hoy 3, in a situation like, like this, like you can just move like I told one division to go there. That's all I wanted there, but it, it reorganizes the entire front rather than just like the guys in that region. Let's see what do we got. If we attack, what do we got? So I've got four divisions, three in reserves, four divisions, nine in reserve. And what if we throw some some extra oomph in there? Oh, I got a river crossing there. Really? I don't even see a river. Okay, no big deal. I think that construction just go. Alright, so this is the one that says they don't have a good shot. But I'm going to tell them to go. And I'm going to tell the Red Army to go too. Because I'd like to actually move this frontage a little bit. And I think we can do it. Yeah, the Brits are apparently pansies in combat. We'll just surround these guys. So there is some resistance. Uh, so you guys... Nope, that's not who I wanted. You? Yeah, there we go. So let's delete your orders. And let's tell them to garrison. I believe... Uh, the gear, you know, the the reduced resistance actually works pretty w well now because if I tell them to do like this huge area, they'll only actually go to the areas that need the reduction. 
So if like if there's an area that I have them assigned to, but there's no need for reduction there, they won't actually go to it. How are we up here? Oh, we're fine. Everybody assigned to this? Yep. So now we'll just hit offensive line and tell them to go there and then go for it. Oh shit, that's not getting us anywhere. Those are suicide attacks. Cancel that. Probably no infrastructure up here. Three. Tell them to build some more in a lot of these places. I don't like these fives. I think we surrounded and destroyed that little nub I was had issue. No, 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 that was right here. So just walk into Munich and you're fine. There you go. No more problem. Those guys will starve out. Yeah, they do not want uh, Danzig to fall, but everything else they're like, okay, we'll just leave this. I actually think we could probably tell them to stop now so we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. There we go, just, uh, did they disappear? Where'd they go? Where'd those units go? They were just there a second ago. Do these provinces touch? Doesn't look like it. No idea. That was weird. Uh, let's uh, try to relieve some pressure by telling the orange army to move. Let them move forward a little bit. Alright, so that's all done. Attenzione. Get in there. Move that line. Yeah, yeah. Up here in the north, like, the, what's left of Poland is fucking stacked. Maybe the rest of the allies are pissed at the Dutch for taking so much land in the, in the peace deal. Low manpower. I'm le lo just under a million. And I think there's one more level up I can go. I mean, uh, what about... Hmm. I don't really need political power. Is there anything better in here? Not really. Yeah, not really much else to do there. Alright, so let's see if we can't make a little bit of progress here and there. Let's say you there. Attack you there. Get in on get in on that. I just want to make a little bit of forward progress. Try to surround Danzig a little. Okay, the orange army's running into issues, so we're going to have them stop. I just wanted to relieve pressure on the red army, which is exactly what I did. Move these guys a little bit here and there. there attack right there. It's, easy. it's an easy attack. Just some Dutch troops. Then you guys attack there. Okay. See how easy that is? Need a little bit of manual control here and there, and we got it. Yeah, moving up towards Danzig just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you guys actually attack Danzig with assistance here. How many units they got in there? Wow, 36 divisions. Fuck that. We'll just surround it. 
There are 36 divisions there. There's one and a half armies. They are not ready to let that fall again. A lot of uh, repair work going. It's gonna help at the front. The air game look like. How many fighters we got reserve? Oh, uh, that's going to be logistics. Only 300, and they're mostly older. All right, so not going to put more planes in the sky. Uh, Czechoslovakia, nothing's happening here, though. So what we can do is go like that. And Alpine region, and there's nothing in here. We already have, okay, so that's fine. So let's just double up the amount of fighters here. And really have them wreck up the place. Yeah, look at those enemy fighters lost. I feel like they have balanced air better. Because usually what happened before is you could... Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they changed to, um, to, to make this a little bit better. But you could have tens of thousands of planes. Literally tens of thousands. Fighting over control of air zones. Especially the English Channel. What are you guys doing? Cancel. Tens of th literally tens of thousands of planes fighting over one little tiny air zone. And it would just be this, this really terrible thing where, like I had it before, situations where I had uh, over a hundred factories. Like, like, basically turned it into my entire country was doing nothing but pr um, cranking out fighters and then they were just getting funneled into the meat grinder hundreds of planes being shot down every month over the English Channel but now it seems to be more like look at this over the last couple of months they've lost you know hundreds but not thousands or tens of thousands now Western Poland there's a lot of uh, air combat there Come on, Axis. Look how much of the frontage I've relieved. All of the Italian Alps have been relieved from you. You don't even have to have station troops there anymore. How wonderful must that be for you? Most of the repair work is uh, underway, which is great. That stuff all fixed up. And we'll move forward. Heide, heide, heide. A mouse killed over Western Poland. Yeah, you could get the the. It's pretty easy for your air, uh, your air your air, air, air aces. I don't know why I said air aces. Just your aces. Um, it's very easy for just them all to die. Western, Ger Eastern Germany, Western Germany, both. So let's see. You're going there. All right, that's good. Doesn't, there's nothing happening over here, so what we can do is move you up, and then assign you to Eastern Germany. Make sure that any any planes up there are are attacked. One one issue that I think needs to be addressed with the air zone is that planes don't. Act, you know, as as the way the mechanics are handled, planes don't actually travel. They so, so like if I had bombers in Czechoslovakia and I told them to bomb north northwestern Germany, to my knowledge at least, this is the way it used to be. I'm not sure if it's changed, but I don't think it has. Um, the the bombers basically teleported from their airfield to where they were and back. So there's no way to intercept them, say in East Germany or Western Germany, or even in Czechoslovakia. I think if you had fighters there you would have to fight them at the mission not along the way or back which was always a very I always thought was very odd very peculiar especially when I was doing things like I remember playing and as, as I don't remember who I was playing as but I had bases in the United Kingdom and I was bombing the Mediterranean and flying like all of France was enemy territory and you know there's no way that it was just free free flying from from point A to point B 
So we made some progress up here. And actually we have some intel on these fucking units now. And what we're going to do is surround Danzig so they can't at least cycle units in there anymore. So who's attacking here now? Let's have you cancel. Everybody just cancel. Because we're good for now. I think we're doing well. Manpower is definitely going to start becoming... Oh, Pebbles. <laughs> First strange name. It's been killed. Are we just going to keep... The Brits are fucking weak. Jesus Christ. The Dutch and the Poles are like ubermenches, and the fucking Brits are nothing. Nope, sorry, cannot do it. I know it would be easier. I'm fully well aware, but I'm still not going to do it. I'm actually going to cancel this mission, I think. So to give us a chance to actually build up some forces... So how are the, uh, what we got? 12, 13, 14, about 15 a week, so we're doing like two a day. That's not many. What about fighters? Let's actually move all the planes to the top so I can keep a close eye on them, and we'll take that down a little. Keep a, a weather eye on the planes. It is nice that the air stuff works better than it used to. It's not great, but it works better. A little bit better. It's an improvement. I actually, before you could get, uh, you could still get through the game without ever building airplanes, but I mean, if the enemy decides to build airplanes and they bomb, they can bomb the crap out of you. Um, we saw it when the, the Soviet Union um, had air superiority over my forts. They just bombed the forts into, into dust. It's an improvement. It's an improvement. I'll give it that. It's an improvement. Yeah, the Brits are fucking weak as hell. Tell them to go to the Maginot. Maginot. Go to the Maginot line. The Dutch and the Poles, they're fucking strong. Apparently the Swedes got the, the, the allies uh, stopped too. Can we can we um, launch an attack and have it go anywhere? Yours. Guys are still super weak. How's our logistics? Artillery is looking looking bad. We're gonna start running out of artillery soon. Ah, there we go. Much better. They still got all those divisions in there, but we have a, a much better attack now that's surrounded. Did we just overrun them? Well, there's that. Let's take a look at Poland now. Hundred percent. So we captured, ha ha! So let's actually test this out. Because we I was worried about this before. That's nice to have captured this off. We captured 6,300 artillery pieces, and I just showed you that I had about 600 in reserve. So let's let a day tick by. Did that go to Germany? Oh my god, that went back to Germany. Before we do anything, let's let this, uh... So, artillery pieces. So we've got... We, we gained about a thousand? So we gained some. But not what it said on there. 700, 800... So we gained a few hundred... About, what, 1400 artillery pieces? And it said 6,000? 
So, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But right now, I'm actually going to, uh... Have my 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 divisions because this this shit just got like that's mine now for some reason. Oh, because it was Poland and it capitulated out. That actually deleted most of my attack orders, which is problematic for me. Can I actually tell them to go through there? Nope. So that that was rather unfortunate because what that did was that got rid of my pre preparation bonus. That's a shame. That got rid of my preparation bonus. Let's see if we can't overrun some territory while everything's all wonky. Orange army attacking is mostly just a uh, diversion. Probably stop that now, though. Oh, shit. Uh, um... Fucking hell. So that's this army, right? Nope, that's the wrong one. It's this one. And then what we do is we just go like this. And then you come like this. Oh, and... Can't go through Germany! Aha! This is gonna get really weird! You're gonna get weird, guys! You know what would be nice if you could really lock these together? Uh, so now they've... Okay, so light blue, the one that's going, is this one. We've got no divisions assigned to any orders. So I'm going to delete this. This is all sorts of fucked up because of Germany right here. Um, here, just take that one province. Yeah, this is all sorts of wonky now. Because the I cannot keep the line continuous there. Yeah, this is this is jacked up pretty pretty good right now. This is the this is why I don't like the uh, the front management because there's not really a good way to avoid these situations. Not really much you could do other than just play the game the best you do do what you can and hope for the best. I love the- I like the voice localization, though. That's nice. Um, I guess you can- you can- you can- but you can't. But you can. Okay. Uh, so I guess we'll just shift everything up a few provinces. Hope for the best. Yeah, Poland surrendering really borked up the lines. That really screwed things up. Oh, there's like 20 divisions there. Don't do that. Here. You guys attack that. Okay, so uh, something happened, and now the lines are back. So that's a lot of men to, uh, assigned to this little tiny frontage. Yeah, that really fucked up the line, didn't it? <laughs> And we have more factories. Um, no, we're running low on rubber. So build more rubber. And if there's anything I need, it's more artillery pieces. Yeah, just keep hitting them. Keep fucking with the line. Yep, those guys are gonna get overrun. It doesn't. It's not saying overrun, so I'm assuming that's what's happening. But there's not really any way for me to 100% new. The line's getting a lot thinner, so what we can do is start really trying to concentrate these forces. Just shift everybody down.
like that. And it actually leaves me more armies to work with, too. Wow, there's nobody down here. And where's the Red Army? Right there. You launch an attack, too. There's fucking nobody down here. Oh, look! They're pushing up into France! Gotta, oh, we gotta we gotta do something. They got a lot of forces here, but a lot of these guys are just kind of sitting around. No, uh, they're all they're all doing their redeploy jig. Mister Purple, you're not a. Uh, let's see, that's you. Oh, we are out of time though. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you've been enjoying, and I'll see all of you next time.